Yo, what's up guys, Exhibit here, and today I'm bringing you a camera, I don't even know how to explain, like a camera motion tracking tutorial within After Effects. And I'm going to show you how you can add some text to a service that doesn't have any text or maybe even a picture or something, and I'll show you how I do that. So basically we're going to hop right into this, and you're going to go on your clip, you're going to go track camera, and since it's just it's clear it basically it's just gonna spin around this thing so what you want to do is you want to go to advanced detailed analysis and you want it to be 3d solved and it's a fixed angle of view it's not zooming in and out so yeah, you want to make sure it's with that but I'm gonna pause this and let this do its thing and then I'll be back when it's done rendering alright we're back and we have our track points here and so yeah so basically what you want to do is you want to find a target, but sometimes it like glitches and doesn't show targets. You have to click off the camera tracker and click back on it and it'll show targets. And I don't know why. I don't know why it's so weird with stuff. It's basically it has to connect three points. So it's you gotta find the right points. Why are none of these connecting? Okay, you might just have to use one of them over here. Okay, it's glitching again. Okay, let's try. Hmm. Hmm, we could try that. I don't want to use that though. Sorry guys, but I'm just trying to find the right points. This is the hardest, probably the hardest part about this. Okay, I'm just going to use that. Wherever, okay. So when you get your target and your point, what you want to do is, yeah, you want to make sure the target is flat on the surface that you're going to be tracking on. You want to right click, create text in camera. And I already have my text. So what you want to do is toggle switch to modes, and yeah, it'll already be in 3D mode, but we're just going to edit this. If it'll let me. Shrink this down. Shrink. Crap. Just gonna put on the zero. So I'm just gonna have basic text. I don't know what I want to have. Basically, I'm gonna position this. Where we want it, and my computer is lagging because of my capture equipment. But there we go; it's trapped. If you want to make it look more realistic, um, push R. Well, slow, um, push or yeah, push R while you select the clip, and then you can play around with these functions to make it rotate to where it needs to be because it's probably not going to naturally be the way you want it. So yeah, then you just adjust the position. So I'll bring this up. Bring it a little bit down here. And then not that. Like that. And we're going to put it right there on the wall. Just like that, I'm gonna put this on full. Yeah, and look at that, it looks perfect. It's perfectly trapped to that wall. So if you want to make the text look more realistic, you can add some blur. I like to use just a fast blur. And I just put it at like five. That's little mm, Yeah. And then you don't want to have the opacity at 100%, so push T and open the opacity. And you just got to mess around with that. You want to get it to have a little faded of a look. And you can also add fade. If you have uh, magic bullet presets or misfire, you can do misfire fading. And then you can increase it so that it 
gives it more of an authentic look. You also can add um, grain or noise. Mm, I think I'm going to do grain or noise instead. And you also can play around with the settings here, or the, okay, don't use that one. Um, I'm not sure which ones are best to use. Um, nope. Uh, as well, I've just playing around that you have to do. I like color burn. So yeah, that's tracked onto the wall there. And it's smooth. So yeah, um, what else can I do with this? There's just, you gotta just play around with stuff. Um, we can make it glow, actually. I actually might even want to turn the opacity down to like 50%. And then we can add the glow. So it stands out a little more. I want the radius to be mm, 50. And yeah, then you can like match the color what's on the wall. And then it'll go in there. Yeah, it looks looks like it wasn't even at it. It looks like it's naturally supposed to be there. So yeah, my computer is really slow. I'm gonna render this out or preview it, RAM preview it I mean. Just so we can see what it looks like. So yeah, it's gotta let this preview. Alright, you get the point. So yeah, it's perfectly tracked to the wall like that. So yeah, that's basically a 2D tracking in After Effects with the camera tool. If you have any questions or concerns about this or whatever, um, feel free to tweet at me or leave a comment or something. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped guys, and as always, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.